Yo, what is up guys? We're on episode two. We are review, actually reviewing the Air Jordan 5 Bel Airs. Um, we did manage to get four pairs of those, but I only picked up, actually five, but I only picked up four. I did get a four, uh, four youth, and I didn't think that was a good investment, simply because they're not moving very much and the bigger sizes are going well. In the back, we do have an 11 and a half and a 13, and right here, the ones we are going to review will be the five and a halves. So there they are right there. And um, so these are the, the alternate Bel Airs is what you can say. And they were inspired by the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, of course, Will Smith, a 90s TV show. And um, there was a lot of hype around these shoes. I think um, I think a lot of people did hit. I got so lucky on the finish line accounts. Thanks again to Boro. I'm not sponsored, but I will leave a link in the description just so you people, just so you guys know, like where I bought my finish line accounts to hit these. Um, simple and easy, not even that hard to do. They send you over all the information. It's good to go. Um, so yeah, so it, it is an alternate colorway. They did release on August 15th, which is today. That's when I'm recording this. And I did go and pick them up. I didn't have any issues at finish line going in and getting all three pairs. Um, I did go at different times. I did go at like 12 this morning. Well, 12 p.m., so it's afternoon. And then I also went at like 6 o'clock. I just spaced it out because I did hit the raffle at the same store. And um, but yeah, so honestly, I think the Bel Airs are pretty cool. They're retailing at 190. I saw so much success on um, so much success on sneakers today, which was surprising. It makes me think that uh, makes me think that the stock is really high. I don't know how these are going to perform. Personally, I think they aren't going to sell too high at first. I think a lot of people have them in hand, but that being said, with GOAT and StockX, everybody's going to undercut you this and that. eBay is like a great place to sell and word of mouth. So local sales, like build up a clientele, that's what I'm currently doing now. I think they'll do okay in person. I'm thinking like, I don't know, you can make some lunch money off these. And using GOAT will help too. I know some sizes do better than others, of course. As always, the bigger sizes usually in these do pretty well. And some of the small sizes do pretty well. But um, anyways, I... Honestly, my prediction is I'm gonna hold one of these. I'm also holding the one one pair of the Satans as well. I mean, I only have one pair, so I'm gonna hold those for a while. But I am gonna hold a pair of these until around Christmas, I think. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> we'll see. I, I'll see how the sales go as we as it goes along. But yeah. So here we go. They do come laced from Finish Line, and thankfully this time Finish Line didn't destroy my boxes like the uh, Satans, the Air Jordan One Satans. So these. Boxes are in awesome shape and I'm so happy so like when I send them out, buyers won't be upset about how the boxes look. I know some people frown upon that. Um, yeah, so here's the shoe in person. This is actually the 5.5, 5 .5, easier to review, a little bit smaller. Um, they do come laced up with this little thing on the tag. They come with black laces, but they also come with an extra pair of the bright green. I'm not really sure. I think if I was to rock these, I would just do the black laces. A little bit simple. Bright green brings out too much color, I think, for the foot. Um, but yeah, no, I think it's a super clean shoe. Super well made. The only thing I don't like about the Air Jordan 5s, personally for me, is that they're very bulky. I like a more slim cut shoe, like maybe like Air Jordan 1 is a little bit slimmer. I don't know if anybody can relate to that. Let me know in the comments if you can relate. But I think when you get to your actual size that these are super bulky. As you can see here, you got like a little air pocket thing, air here. And it looks like the inside, which is really cool, is like the multi colorway, And I think that looks amazing. I like how the sole has the bright green Jordan in there and you can see through kind of the gum bottom. Um, but other than that, I, I think it's a super well-made shoe. It's, uh, I think they're gonna hold up for a long period of time and um, they're actually not as heavy as I expect them to be. Uh, with the pictures and everything, I expect them to be a little bit heavier. Um, but they're, they're a good shoe. As you can see in the back, you got the Air Jordan the Air Jordan sign. We're gonna go around the side here. We got the 23, of course. And I know, like I said, there was a lot of hype around these. I know a lot of people were trying to get them. And that's personally why I am gonna hold on to a pair of them. I am selling four pairs. I did hit one on sneakers, like I said earlier. I did hit another pair today on sneakers. Surprisingly, it's the first time I haven't taken an L on sneakers in the last like two months. But um, I think that in, a, in months around Christmas time, these are gonna go up. Um, the actual Bel Airs are pretty high up right now. 
Uh, but I know the StockX prices on these, everybody's undercutting. I know I don't use StockX that much. I do do it to like compare and see how much they are worth. But man, I, I've listed on StockX and I'll be completely honest, dude, everybody undercuts left and right. So I'm just like, I don't know. StockX, I mean, it's a great tool you can use and whatnot, but yeah, so here's that, that's my result. We're gonna go over here, we'll look up uh, how we're, how the Air Jordan 5s are looking right now. Um, okay, so you can see here, we'll go here, we got the Air Jordan 5. Well, actually, we'll go to StockX real quick. We'll do StockX, there's that, move this over. So, as you can see, the Air Jordan 5 Bel Air. Let's, have any, let's see how many have actually sold already. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot of sales. Looks like five point five. Looks like the overall the lowest ask right now is two twenty, and I think that's a bit. That's super low. The highest bid is two eighty. I do have a pair of tens. Looks like the last sale was about two forty. I have a pair of eleven and a half. Last sale was two sixty, and a pair of thirteens and two fifty four. So I mean, you're making money, but StockX does take that percentage out so i would be careful with selling on StockX. i know you can get your seller fees down but it's still kind of like mm, still biting a bullet there but i mean they're a cool shoe as you can see the jordan 5 retro bel airs i've seen some people predicting that these may go up over time i know these these released a while ago back in 2013 i don't i wouldn't hold the alternate for that long but i personally i do see them going the the ones that dropped on August 15th, the alternate Bel Airs, I can see them going up anywhere between the 300s, three and 400s, I think by Christmas or maybe a little bit after in the new year. I personally think they will, they'll raise. Um, they're a cool shoe. They were hyped, so hyped up. I know I saw in multiple of my cook groups that we saw people, you know, people wanting them, people celebrating the success. Everybody celebrates the success. Yeah, um, now the next thing for this is just trying to sell them off. I'm gonna hold a pair. And yeah, I'm super happy that I was able to cop the amount I did. But yeah, that is my review on it. I think next, I'm not sure what's gonna be in the next video. We will be ruining another pair. Um, please let me know down in the comments if you like this style, what you have recommendations. I know I'm just starting out here and I'm new to recording and whatnot, like with a review. I know they're not very in depth, but as, as time goes on, as I get more and more experience, they will get more in depth. And if you wanna hear, please let me know what you wanna hear about the shoes because I will go over everything, whatever you guys want. Just leave in the comments and let me know. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and let's get it.